Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and that is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. That's some white paint. This is my OXO omelette turning spatula that you can find on the link tree on the Amazon link at the top of it right under the videos on either one of my channels. And what I want to do is basically just have some fun and see what happens when I put paint where I want to and whatever colors I want to. That is a metallic red and I am not sure <laughs> what that is, but I'm pretty sure it has some golden iridescent pearl fine in it, which is a golden color. Now after I spread some paint, my intention really is to take a skewer and add some more colors as I go along if I want to. I would normally use gold out of a smaller bottle, but this one's handy. I want to find my new magenta. I did just mix some magenta. I used Dick Blick and Liquitex and Artist Loft. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and uh, and some golden golden magenta also, golden fluid. I guess some more of that. Now I can use some chain. When I do blooms, this magenta sells just like it sells here. I really did always want to do just a, uh, a spatula painting, but I think I've done variations on that over time. I'm going to grab some of my white metallic, I think there it is, from Anita's. Try and use the clean side and then the dirty side. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I think it's got, I think there's some black coming. I think I've got to put some black in. I want to put some yellow in and I don't know why. That's maybe not my best idea, but I do like how yellow and orange work together. So I guess just having some fun is having some fun. That was weird. All right. So now what next? I'm going to put that in the bucket so I'm not tempted to use it and I'm going to do what I was thinking about doing earlier, which is just to add some colors where I want. I'm going to try to put colors that won't be a problem. Problem meaning turning green or simil something similar. Oh, it's not open. And I want it to be open. Oh, I got it. <laughs> cool. All right, let's see how that goes. Let's grab a clean skewer. Let's grab one. It's not just clean, but uh, isn't warped. And let's just dip in. Because seldom do I do this. So I'm going to pull it down. I may never have done this exactly. I've done little bits of this, variations. So you're going to bear with me. And if I see a color on my skewer that I like, I'll put it somewhere else. It's important that I leave my bottles out. I have a long container that I can put paint in, but I haven't figured out how to get the skewer into the container and out again. Now I can make harder marks if I press, but then I also wind up with canvas. And if I'm not careful, my finger goes in the paint. And I can probably, if I can do this quick enough, I could probably tip to make the marks move. And if I don't like it, I'm probably going to tip and chain. Where is my other paint? Okay, I've got some enamel here. And some purple that's open. Yay! And the blue that's open. I know that that Prussian blue will often sell. So I'm going to roll sideways, see what kind of texture we can come up with. Oh, we're going to get some green for sure, but that's interesting. You can take the paint that's on your skewer and go back again too. I could probably put some white. Now, if I had next to me a sheet of acetate, 
Funny how that works. There's a lot of acetate around me, but none of it has any white paint spread on it. So let me get these bottles off the piece that I've got here and see if I can make that work out. Let me grab, first I'm going to try the pearl. I don't know if you can see that over here. Over here. <laughs> I'm going to dip my skewer in. That's my first dragonfly under the tent of the season. I can hear it. So I get some white out of that, but not a lot. And I'm thinking I want some yellow. And the good thing about the edge catcher is, let me just take that paint, put it right there. Clean the paint right off the skewer with my fingers and put it down in the corner. I'm going to wipe off my skewer with a cloth. I'm going to grab that yellow and press down. Press down with my finger onto the skewer. What are we going to get? Yep, we got some yellow. Makes me want to do some orange. Oh, I like that. I don't know how much I can get away with that. I'm just learning. I like the texture we have. I think I can also scrape down to canvas and get some pretty interesting texture too. This is interesting for sure. I used to love putting scratches into my paint. Maybe I still do. I'll grab a little more of that blue. Ooh, that's nice. I like that dark turquoise that they don't sell anymore. I may or may not keep that, but you know, at any given point in time, if I decide I want to use chain, nothing's going to keep me from doing that. And at any given point in time, when I want to roll a skewer, I can certainly do that. I've got a good amount of paint right there, and it's light colored, so maybe I can move it to somewhere else, too. And every time I lay one pattern over another, even though it gets a little busy, I have some purple I want. And it's not right here, but it is over here. And anytime I might want to leave some of my marks, I can definitely do that. I'm sort of craving a little bit more of that magenta. This purple. I think I hear rain. Rain used to be lucky for me. I think I might hear thunder and rain. Yep, I think I do. So what am I going to do with that mess? I think I'm going to stick some chain in there, because I can. Let's put another color in there too, like black or dark purple. And maybe some white and some of that magenta and I think I need some orange I did just make some other orange so let's let's oh not dump that over please let's see what happens that's the wrong piece of chain that's the one with the okay start at the bottom guarantee that's something I'm keeping, but it was fun to do. Can you turn the TV down a little bit? Yeah. All right, so that's all right. I hope this isn't one of those ones where I think I'm doing great and then I want to scrape it all off, which is pretty unusual, basically. Now, at any given point in time, like I mentioned before, I can go, I can stop doing chain and I can go back. To my skewering. And at any point in time, when I see that I like the mark that I have, I can stop and pull the chain up. Because I've got GAC 800 by Golden. That's a lot of gold paint in there. So 
So just pick it up. Not sure about this in here. But I am sure if I've got colors I like on my chain that I can usually change whatever I'm looking at to something I like. Now I like that. I wish I had to put that down quite like that. Hold that with my left hand. That was the neon from Folk Art. Neon purple, multi-surface. see your mark is done stop I need to find out what black is going to do and I'm going to take a risk and use some of the black enamel I like it I'm going to do it again everything isn't perfect yet but it's closer than it was a few minutes ago this mark here is kind of bugging me, and I've got that turquoise, and I really like it. I sort of switched from the skewer theory to the to the chain theory pretty quick there. What else? Something darker. Come on, bottles, go away. Come on out, out you come. Prussian blue is neat because it usually almost always sells. You know what? I can't ever get enough of that, so maybe I'll wind up going in both directions. I hope this becomes something I like better than I like it right at the moment. But it usually does. Even if it's just a bunch of spirals, that's going to be okay with me. The higher you lift your chain in the air, the smaller your circle is going to be. I think I really need to clean my chain off soon, but I like having a variety of colors in there very much. And I'm getting really close to not hating this. Well, I don't hate it, but you know what I'm saying. It's not really what I had in mind quite yet. I am getting so close. It's always a surprise to me when you see colors that you're not particularly fond of, and then you put the chain down and Suddenly there's another color there you didn't know was there. I'm going to clean this off and dry it again. And maybe I'm just going to grab a new one and look at this. Nice clean chain. I might still work with that skewer. I'm just loving those circles. I want something else over here. Oh, I did even, I brought a balloon out here with me. This is just not the right piece to put it in. I'm like seeing it in my periphery and I'm like, what's that? <laughs> I think I need a little more orange over here. And where else? Maybe a little over here. Maybe I'll just drop some and if I don't happen to remember to get back to it, it'll still be okay. Maybe a little yellow over there too. And if I use the opposite side of the chain, it might be clean, but I'm, I just, I'm a risk taker. There we go. That's perfect. That's what I wanted. I want to see if, when I've just made a circle with colors I like, that's the moment I can get brazen and bring those colors to the next place I want to dip the chain in. I like the half circles. I'm liking this a lot now. If I sound surprised, lots of times I am surprised. 
Sometimes I don't like things and then they surprise me and they turn into something I like a lot. It's good to take chances, I think. And I'm loving that magenta in everything that it becomes a part of. Here comes the real rain. All right, so I am almost done with this. So I should tell you guys, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard, playing with chain and skewers. More chain, less skewers at the moment. And uh, just basically having a good time. I want some more of that black though. That's not it. I'm gonna be try and be a little cautious about where I decide to put it. See if I can't get away with it without ruining anything that's nice. Just needs enough to lead the eye from down here to wherever else. Might it be okay too? I feel like this is one of those Crayola crayon black on black over the top scratch paintings, but um, I'm gonna have to do my edges with something else. And I am gonna torch to release the bubbles in the paint. Not that I really think there can be that many bubbles left in the paint after you finish dragging chain through. I think I'm just gonna use the dull end of a skewer to. Wow, that took all of. My 17 minutes. So I do sell art, my artwork and I need to sell my artwork <laughs> to try and pay for some art supplies. Um, I also accept donations and uh, if you happen to be somebody who has donated to the studio you know that there is an exhibition video on the end screens that shows you prizes for, uh, for people who enter the monthly drawing. I'm seeing a little tail there. Cool. And a little canvas here. Good. And a little nothing right there. And over here, I want to run my finger along the edge and sort of fill that hole. I might put some magenta on the edges of this. The heck, that could be cool. So I love you guys. And uh, on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, take the thing out of there. Appreciation, excuse me. That's a Facebook group. An um, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Batsell YouTube channel. You will find creative playlists that contain 1,310 videos. And they're organized by the genre and by the number. And some got, some got deleted and put on the other channel, which is Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batsell Art. I am loving all of that. That is just a ball. I just had a great time doing that. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link at no added cost to you. It's on the top of the link tree right under the video. I could just keep spinning this chain for a while. I've never just given myself permission to cover an entire surface with, uh, I don't like that. Shoot. All right, so how do I fix that? I guess I just do it. And then lift. All right, that's still okay, isn't it? If you told me no, I don't want to hear you. <laughs> so I'm going to lift it so I don't get that little tail again. All right, you guys take care of each other and take care of yourselves. And I love you dearly. And I hope you keep commenting. I love your comments. Thank you. You keep my morale boosted. Thank you for the donations that have kept me painting all this time. I really appreciate that. And uh, make sure you look on the end screens for my website also uh, on the link tree. And that exhibition video. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you anon. Anything that's not perfect, I can use, just use the blunt end of my skewer and add a few spirals. And that's not hurting my feelings a bit. It's perfect. Perfect fit. Very cool. Happy I did that. I'll be fixing my edges for a while. Oh, I said I'd torch. All right, you guys take care of each other and yourselves. I said that.
love these colors. 